11 days until Rutgers annual spring game, nine spring practice sessions down, four days until Student Appreciation Day, but the hunt is always on. I'm Fatima Diallo, and today we're talking defensive backs, specifically corners, with assistant defensive backs coach Aaron Henry. Coach, nine spring practice sessions in the books. What were your overall impressions of practice today? Um, we, we still got our work cut out, man. I thought guys came out today and grinded a little bit, you know. I'm trying to push these guys every single day. Um, I'm trying to get them to see the big picture. I'm trying to get them to see the grand scheme of what we are asking them to do in this defense. And um, they did some good things today, but I'm, I'm never, ever satisfied. Right. And you have a young crop of corners. How have they been adjusting to and picking up the new defensive playbook? Uh, it's been relatively easy for them, you know. Um, right now, we're not really requiring them to think, but... Um, what we want them to do on the outside physically, it's going to be a very, very hard task. So with that being said, I'm going to ask them, I'm going to, ask them to play a lot of press man. So um, we work on that daily, and um, it's, it is a big, large task for them, but um, I think these guys have the ability to do it. And describe what your ideal cornerback looks like in this defense and how they would approach the game mentally. My ideal cornerback is Deion Sanders. Um, obviously, um, I don't have him yet, but um, no, um, my ideal cornerback, just somebody who's intelligent, you know. I'm trying to, trying to get them to be very, very smart. Um, if you're tall, if you're long, all that's a plus, you know, if you, run, if you run fast, really, really good hands, that's a plus as well. But I'm just trying to get these guys to be smarter football players. If I can get them to be smarter football players, what happens on Saturday is going to be very, very, very easy for them because they, they're going to know when to make plays because it's pretty much going to come to them, you know what I'm saying? And so just trying to get them to, to, to be intelligent football players, that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty much what it boils down to. Right, and you played the position for Coach Ash yeah. at Wisconsin. You coach with him at Arkansas. How does that help you coach these players? You know what? I'm, I'm on a job interview every day. I'm, I'm pretty much working with the, the best defensive backs coach in the country, being in Coach Ash. But um, uh, it's definitely helped me because I know what to expect. You know, a lot of people working with him, they don't know what to expect. I know what the expectations are, obviously, being a player for him. Um, and I know what it takes to be a really, really good football player, a really good football player in this defense on top of going to BCS games, you know. And if they can just listen to what I'm trying to do and what, and what me and Coach Ash is trying to get across, the sky's the limit for this crew. And the team has two scrimmages in their belts. What have you seen from the defensive secondary as a whole? I'm just trying to get guys to finish and rise to the occasion. Um, not only rise to the occasion of what's going on out here, but rise to the occasion of their training. You know, um, Kenny Parker has put them through an awesome, awesome offseason workout, man. And, and just trying to get them to play and just finish and fly around to the football. You know, at the end of the day, it's supposed to be about fun, you know, and, and guys are going to give up deep balls. Things like that are going to happen because that's just, I mean, when you're living out there on that island, I mean, it's, it's possible you're going to give those kind of balls up. But when it does happen, how do you respond to it? Are you, are you going to let one play beat you more than once or are you going to rise to the occasion and, and make the next play? So I'm, I'm, I'm really, really trying to get them to be a student of the game and be that complete player. Right. And thank you so much for joining me, Coach. A big day on the calendar this Saturday. Yes, we heard you had a message for Rutgers students. Rutgers students, listen here. This is Coach Henry, assistant defensive backs coach here at Rutgers. Listen, come out and pack the bubble this Saturday. We really, really need you guys. Show up, cheering, screaming. Let's have a game day-like atmosphere, obviously, without the, all the stands. <laughs> you know. But let's have a game day-like atmosphere. It's going to be a bunch of fun. You guys get to see me. You know, That's the plus. Um, but let's come out and have a good time. Let's come out and cheer your favorite football team on, and um, we're going to give you guys a sneak preview of what can potentially happen this season. So come out and pack the bubble, you guys. You heard the man April 16th. That's this Saturday, 9.30 a.m., right here at the bubble. Do not let Coach down. He'll be very, very, very sad. Reporting from the bubble, he's your assistant defensive backs coach, Aaron Henry, and I'm Fatima Diallo.